Hey guys, and welcome back to Art a like Heart, and today I'm opening another Smart Art box. So let's jump in and see what we've got. For those of you who don't know, Smart Art is a monthly art experience box. Each month is focused around a certain art project, and they include everything that you need inside the box. If you'd like more information about Smart Art, I will leave a link to their website in the description box below. But I'm always excited to see what new things they send me. Now, sometimes I get art supplies that I am not familiar with, I am not good at, or I've never tried before ever, but I don't think that is going to be the case with this one because by this beautiful swatching here, I'm thinking that this is a watercolor box and yes, even though I have an extensive collection of different kind of watercolor brands and things, I'm always looking for new stuff. First, let us take a peek at this. This is a Crestline Creative Watercolor Boards. So I've never used Crestline before, but I have painted on boards before, which are fun. They're different than watercolor paper because they're already put on kind of a blocking. So this is one sheet. So you can see it's really thick. They have the watercolor paper there and then it's adhered, adhered to this board. So you have a nice little piece and they sent three of these, which is really nice. Also inside is a Royal and Landical Essential Watercolor Color Pencils. So the only brand of kind of, I guess these are kind of like a watercolor uh, color pencils, but they're actually ink. So they're, they are definitely different. This is the only one I like. So here we have, this is a nice little starter kit. So it has your basic colors, um, a brush, and then, oh, I needed an eraser. Oh, I am obsessed with brushes. I love getting brushes. So this is a great new set for me to play with. And it has a fan brush in it. A little extra little bit to hold it into place. So we have this super nice size zero, it's so tiny. Then we have a nice flat, a larger flat size, and then a fan brush, which I've never actually used a fan brush with watercolor, I don't think, before. I use it with acrylics, but not so much with watercolor. I don't, I don't remember. So we'll have some fun playing around with this. Before we get into the this piece, we also have a little alternatives dual tip pen. I need some paper. My niece is homework. Let's see here. It's a nice little gray tip. Look, it's a map of the United States. Just so you guys know, I'm right there on the map. That's where I live. So if you're if you're around this area, we're neighbors. That's pretty cool. We have our Zot candy, which I think I will give to my niece to see her expression when she eats a Zot. If you've never tried a Zot before, it's an experience. <laughs> and then this brand of Angora made in Germany. Ooh la la. I mean, I guess that's French. I don't know what Germans say instead of ooh la la. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is one of the reasons I love the German language because here is wow. And then this, according to Google, this is what German. Is this what you guys say? Do you have any German viewers? But anyway, there we go. So I'm excited to try this out. I love this palette. Does this look like a makeup palette? First, let's take our little bronzer here and I'm going to add this along my eyelashes. So that is the box. So let's jump into some art and figure out what I want to draw. So I'm going to just, I'm going to, oh, composition. Again, probably should be making a thumbnail, but I'm just going to, I'm going to visualize it. Do you guys ever like visualize what you're wanting to create? You're like, see it in your head. You're like, Mwah, and there it is. I'm trying to do that. So I'm going to go really lightly here. You probably won't be able to see much. I say this a lot when I'm sketching up things as don't worry about wrong lines. Don't, I don't even try to erase them unless things just get too muddy and I have a hard time seeing what's going on. Get your, get your correct line drawn in there first when you're sketching things out. It cuts out on your frustration level. And also, when you go to redraw a line that you've erased, your brain tends to want to redraw the exact same line. So, all right, so the photo I have, which um, I can't show you because it's on my screen, um, but she has this gigantic flower, but I want to make it, I want to make her like under the sea-ish kind of thing. So I'm going to change that to maybe a starfish. That would be cool. Flow out around her a little bit. She should be looking at something. Um, I don't know, she's, maybe I just have her hair. 
So it's not a lot of room to put like a fish here because that would throw my balance off. I don't know. There we go. Okay. Now, let's open up our cute little box of gummy racer, which is also in a little plastic. All right. <laughs> it's tape stuck to my fingers. This one isn't too bad. Some of them like don't want to mush together. They want to keep their form. So they're not really like a gummy eraser. They're like a fake gummy eraser. But this one is like, this one's texture is almost like not saltwater taffy, but oh, there's a, a Japanese candy and I can't remember the name of it, but it's like taffy like a starburst almost. A cool texture. It's different than other ones. De-stressor for an artist. Okay, just roll it. Well, it's going to look like almost all of it, but I'm just lightening things up because I don't want this, because it's a watercolor pencil, so is it waterproof or water soluble? It's a watercolor pencil, so this lead will fade into the water, but it will also tint some of my colors, which I'm not too worried about because I'm not going for vibrancy I I am well who knows what I'm gonna have when I'm done all right now we have my paints here mm. Mm. urban sesame how does it open hang on open is oofen oofnen 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 all right then I need some water right there and there I need a paper towel Okay, so they didn't give me a paper towel, but I've got some, it's okay. All right, now I'm gonna get my, gonna get my half inch, gonna rinse it up. Sometimes when you get a brand new brush, they have like, they have stuff on the bristles to kind of keep all the, uh, everything from hoofing out. So you kind of have to rinse them off so they don't get that, that goo. So I'm gonna try something new. I took, taking a watercolor class at my local art museum that I work for. And I'm learning all about color theory, which is cool. I'm gonna try putting in an undertone on this. Let's see how this works. Definitely have a good staining power because my paintbrush is now permanently stained with yellow. So it already has some good like skin tones in here. I'm gonna start laying those in. Normally I'd have to mix my skin tones, but I wanna use all these, as many of these colors as I can. I'm gonna start with my lightest tone first because you can always go darker. When I get painting like this, I stop talking. So this is where, you know, we put in the music, you know, so. You guys have something to listen to besides my breathing. <sighs> I sound like Darth Vader some days. looking creepy yes <laughs> she's different so you can see here her skin wasn't quite dry enough so my color from her hair is fading into her but that's okay I'm gonna soften that up a little bit okay so because this paper definitely doesn't want to take a lot of work um, just looks fuzzy I'm gonna have to change my tactics because as good old Bob Ross says there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. Am I going to dig into my ink pen uh, box bin? Because I think I have these pens, certain pens I'm looking for. These are amazing pens. So these are calligraphy pens. They're called Elegant, oh, there you go, Elegant Writers. They come in these little chisel. For those of you who know, I don't calligraphy. Uh, calligraphy and me don't get along. I'm going to outline this in this pen and then I'm going to show you what this pen does, which is really cool, which is not meant for calligraphy, but it's meant for my art. So here we go. It's either going to make this piece really cool or 
totally mess it up. We'll see what happens. Oh, uh, cue some fun music for you to listen to while I do this little time lapse. Do -do 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 -do. Do 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 do. stop the music um so here we have this just outlined version now this is pretty cool it's not bad um this is where you have to take a deep breath <sighs> and we're gonna do something brave because again this was either going to look cool or totally ruin the paper picture art because these pens are water soluble and they do really cool things so look down here i'm gonna just touch into here and you're just gonna see how this ink just loves to get kind of fuzzy and do cool things. I'm just gonna play around with this a little bit and see. It also changes color. It has like this um, purpley blue kind of bleed to it, which is cool. So we're just gonna see what it does again ruin it it's all right so this is our test piece anyway we're testing out the supplies <laughs> that's what we call it when we when we don't get what we want we're just testing we meant to, for it to do that <laughs> sometimes in these types of videos where I, I do this I when I'm editing it and going back through the video I will see places where I'm like oh that actually looked really good and then I you know, keep pushing it and I lose it and it makes me a little sad. So if you're like, oh no, don't do that. Know that I feel the same way. <laughs> this piece is not turning out the way I thought it would. Well, it's kind of interesting. We'll see what happens. Oh, look at that. Let's do this. Let's try this. Let's just Spritz it. Ho, 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 ho. Let's see what that does. That's kind of cool, isn't it? That might even be cooler. Now she looks kind of like a zombie. Like, not gonna lie, she looks like she's got something wrong with her mouth there. But I like what it did there. Dare I try a little more? I'm getting that desaturated look that I was hoping for. Let's pull some of this some of this water in here let's let's just get this face in here oh maybe this will work this might it'll be different it's definitely not my normal style oh definitely not but it's not bad it's, it's just odd it's different it's very dark maybe maybe we can save this this is not as scary as it was this is just a piece in progress. That's why you just you don't give up. You just never know. She might still end up a little on the on the weird side, but she also could turn into be one of my new favorite pieces. Probably not, but maybe. And we haven't really used these color pencils, but I really think this paper right now in this state would not hold up to any sort of color pencil work. And I'm not that great at color pencil work. <laughs> We're not gonna mess with it because I kinda like this. Now my temptation is to go in with a Micron pen and add some tattooing on her because I think this girl needs some more ink. But I, I kinda like what I have so far, so. When this comes to that point, I say just let it rest because you can always go back in and add more, but you can't, it's hard to take things away. So I'm kind of feeling like I want to add some white gel pen and microns to her. But for now, I think, I think she's just gonna, just gonna chill. She's very fuzzy. 
So, yeah. Okay, overall, what did I think about the products? I really did like the pigmentation in this palette. Didn't get a chance to use these guys. Also didn't get a chance to use my fan brush with watercolor paint. Um, this is really cool. I like this. The only thing I'm not impressed with is the paper. I think a different medium would work well with it, but it's just, you can even see, like right in here, it's, it's rolling. And I didn't do a ton of scrubbing on this. It was washes, but not scrubs. So yeah, if you're going to do a lot of work on a piece, um, this isn't the best for it with watercolor, which is kind of sad because I think that's kind of what boards are for because they give you a lot of stability and sturdiness so that you can just really get in there. I like it. It was fun. It was a fun experience. I liked getting out and trying something different. Definitely not my normal style of art. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. I love reading what you guys have to say. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, feel free if you'd like to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. That way you'll get notified every single time I upload a new video. And as always, God bless you guys. Keep being creative, being awesome to each other, and we'll see you in the next art video. Bye-bye.